Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Tusa Hyper Dry Platina 2 snorkel. Um, so this is actually a, a pretty fancy snorkel. Um, it's got some cool features all around it. Um, the main one being that it's got a dry valve down at the bottom, uh, which just means that if any water gets in, uh, every time you exhale, it pushes it out the bottom. Um, one of its biggest selling points in my books is the uh, sort of semi-rigid snorkel tube, um, which just means that you're, you're far less likely to sort of bend or break it. Um, but yeah, let's take a closer look at all its little features. So starting up at the top, we have just a traditional splash guard. Um, so this just means that even if a wave kind of splashes over the snorkel, it's more likely to be deflected away from the, um, the airway. And, um, and that just means that less water is likely to get into it, even in um, choppy waters. If you do submerge under the water, then yes, water will get in. Um, but if it's just sort of wave splashing, you might get a little bit of water in, um, but the majority of it is going to be sort of displaced and uh, sort of sent around it. Moving down the snorkel, uh, so this is a oval uh, cross section, which makes it a bit more hydrodynamic. It sits a bit closer to the side of your head, um, but it's semi-rigid, which I showed you earlier. You can bend this around and then it snaps back to exactly how it was. So it keeps the airway open, but if you're storing it in a bag, um, even if it is like twisted or something, where rigid, tube might bend or break. Um, this one's just gonna bend and take it and come straight back. Moving down, we go to the snorkel keep. The snorkel keep can move up and down. It's a little bit stiff, but I kind of want it to uh, sort of stay in the position that I set it to. Um, and it's hinged as well. So that will hinge, so that way the snorkel can kind of sit in the active position. When you're not using it, it kind of falls away, so it comes away from your mouth. Um, but another useful thing is that if you um, sort of push this, lift this little lever, that section comes off completely. And this is a enclosed loop. So that goes over the, um, your mask strap. That stays on your mask, so you can store your mask in the box, so that stays nice and safe. And then you can store the snorkel separately. So if you don't want to use the snorkel on every dive, you can keep that in your kit bag. Um, if you don't want to use it, you can just clip it off. Um, so it's really quick and easy. Um, and then you're ready to, uh, to go for a snorkel. Moving down from that, we've got a corrugated silicone section. So this section just uh, allows that mouthpiece just to move around, sits in your mouth nice and comfortably without too much tension, um, no matter sort of what shape your, where your head is. And, uh, and when you're not using it, whenever you let go, that falls away from your mouthpiece and keeps this area open so you can use your regulator um, and uh, you've got plenty of space, your snorkel isn't getting in the way. Now snorkels are made to be um, sort of fitted to your left hand side, um, so the mouthpiece is angled towards your left hand side, um, so it sits in your mouth nice and comfortably. Uh, it's not ambidextrous, if you try and fit it to the right hand side it's kind of upside down, but the main point of that is in this little um, dry valve at the bottom. So as you notice, underneath the mouthpiece, we have this big, big section, um, which is, uh, it seems like it's kind of pointless, it's just a big section. But what this is, is a water trap. So if any water does make its way in, it's gonna go all the way down to the lowest point, which keeps the airway open. You can still breathe past a, a small amount of water. And, uh, and every time you exhale, there's a one-way mushroom valve in that. So whenever you exhale, that's gonna push any water that's trapped in there straight out the bottom of the snorkel. So you don't have to blow it all the way up the side. It just comes straight out the bottom and it gets replaced with fresh air. So you have a nice clean airway. So all in all, this is a very um, nice uh, snorkel. I actually used to use one exactly like this. It's, um, it's kind of got all the features that I look for in a snorkel. It keeps that airway open. And, uh, and yeah, even if a small amount of water does make its way in, exhale and it comes out the bottom. And, um, and because it's got a fixed uh, kind of loop on the side, just means it's always gonna be attached to your mask. The ones that have like an open loop, they can become um, disattached uh, at certain points. So, um, so this one, you know it's gonna stay attached to your mask and it's not gonna come out no matter what. This is the, Tupa, uh, the Tusa Hyper Dry Platina 2 Snorkel. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.